Hey friends, Skippy with you here. So we are at the Zombie Civ. This is a base I've designed here for Alpha 20. Now this base, uh, the basic design of it can be built by day 7, 14, used for 28 and so forth. What we're going to do is test it to the real extreme here. Because everyone loves day 7,000 for some reason, we're on day 7,000. Why not? Let's take a look at our stats here. We're game stage 720. That's actually very high. And uh, level 300. That's insane how high that gets now. Okay, so what I've done here is I've added electricity to this base. If you guys haven't watched the previous video I re released a few days ago, check it out. It shows you the basics of this and kind of, you know, how it goes together. But it allows the zombies to actually get uh, sorted through here. They can run across this at night. They can't walk across it during the daytime. They just fall right off. But they do see this as a valid way to get to you and they can run across this at night. One zombie will run right here. And because we have electricity running right here, the one at the front tends to get all stunned, stand here, and any that run in behind them end up falling down here, and then if uh, they get jammed up, they keep falling, right? So that way, the zombies never really go into full smash mode because there's always a route and room for them to run up to this point. Now, you don't need electricity to make this base survive. I always recommend if you're using this base to keep, of course, your weapon, a repair tool, uh, all your repair components, like in this case, um, forged steel. I was using concrete, but I've upgraded it so far. So I want uh, some forged steel, maybe some blocks to replace a block or two if you, if you lose some. But the trick is just to keep it repaired, this one part right here, and uh, you'll be A-OK. -okay. But this isn't a normal block. This is actually a really cool block. Let's copy it so I can tell you guys the name of it. It is the it is a plate pull side centered. So what this is is like a uh, plate, but with a pole attached to it on the side. So these seem to be doing the best. They seem to block everything. The cops spit everything. Nothing really touches you. Uh, as long as you keep the sides nice and closed off like this, you are good to go. So for bird defense, what I've done up here is I have a little bit of an electric fence going, right? So uh, they kind of land up here, go and hit themselves. If you need to come up here and uh, repair any of your electronics at night, I just simply put a ladder on the side here. And because this is just a plate, you can actually uh, nicely hop on top of it. It. and I have a light here so we can see I have our Steve and other Steve protecting us and uh, the one wire that comes across the front and then this seems to take care of the birds if you hear it and there's no zombie hitting that one you know there's a bird up there so you can uh, go and take care of that uh, so to simply get into this base all you do is just uh, nerd pull your way up like this make a bridge across get in there and uh, just take off the frames they don't really seem to bother with the frames while they're up there now the placement of the generator uh, it can be different here i put my generator back here and down here it goes to this one middle electric pole right here and then up to the top and then one out to here and one out to there now i've done quite a few horde nights guys and because they don't hit the base here they end up falling all the way down here. If they do go into smash mode, because there's just simply way too many of them, they'll start smashing around down here. Now, I'm a little nervous about this because I haven't done like a max game stage this high at 32. I really wanted to see if this base can do it. Now, this base holds up period against an eight per wave. So if you're doing like the basic horde nights, guys, this will serve you forever. All you need to do is get yourself a couple of these once you get your electricity up and uh, some wires. It's really not that complicated of a base whatsoever. Now, I do recommend if you're going to invest in skills is to invest in intellect here and put your advanced engineering all the way up because you will get 50 percent electricity or 50 uh, percent XP from trap kills. So you can actually watch your XP chain up as the night goes on. OK, guys, well, since I showed you a 32 times in the last horde video, we're going to be doing a 32 times, but at max game stage, max level on day 7000. Let's give it a go. OK, guys, without further ado, we're going to go uh, ST. That means uh, set time. We're going to go with day 7000 and 22 space 100. So that's how you change the time in seven days to die in creative mode. And bam, here we are, guys. Look at that right away. They're coming up. So the real trick to this, guys, make sure you have a lot of repair materials because you'll be repairing these blades quite a bit. And uh, try to step backwards, guys. That way, the zombie spits and stuff can't come anywhere near you. And they don't try to hit those platforms, as you see over there. All right, so we're uh, holding up pretty well so far. As you can see, these things are taking damage. Well, let's go like this. 
Holy crap, guys, they are tearing right through the zombies. Let's give them a quick repair here. Now, as you can see, this zombie here is stunned right in front. He can't really do too much. He does swing every once in a while, but he can't reach you at all. So you can just go ahead and take him out. See? Just like that. Now he's not in your way. You can go and uh, repair those two. So these blades here, guys, these are the star of the show. The other zombie behavior I'd like to mention is they tend to jump on top of those blade traps and then fall right off or jump right off of them, which is an added bonus, which I was not expecting when I put those up there at all. So yeah, like I said, guys, just go around. Make sure while this, the Horde Knight is happening that you're uh, repairing things like your, your blade traps. Take out the zombie here. You can always hit their head. They kind of go uh, lopsided. So you can hit them. And if you don't want to repair your blade traps as much, you have a lot of ammo, go ahead, guys, and uh, give her a shot. Like, look at this. Easily handable. I can get more XP by actually uh, doing the damage myself. Oh, if you stand too close, by the way, guys, within this one block, dogs and spiders will be able to get a swipe at you. So uh, try to avoid that as much as possible. Oh, no, look at this, guys. Okay, so this is what happens when you, uh, when you let a blade trap go too long. Oh. I thought it was dead. They're just simply overrunning the damn thing. Woohoo! So it's going well so far. But I mean, the knight is young. Here we go. There. Okay, so the weaknesses of this base while we're up here kind of killing zombies is explosions, guys. If you get a demo zombie right here in front of you, I can pretty much say you are done for the night, right? Like, you do not want that to happen. I have had a few demo zombies get right up in the front, but they usually get stunned, and you can uh, get a few headshots in on them to get rid of them. So, weapon skills. Uh, this character has nothing invested in any weapons or anything, so you guys are seeing basic effort, right? Alright, still holding up here. Still holding it all together. Oh, I hear an explosion. Okay, that must have been a cop. Uh, now, the pit down below that you guys seen. Recommendation if you're going to do this, make that pit nice and thick. Oh, we have a demo zombie right here, guys. There we go. And he stumbled off. Nice. Okay, so our blade traps are broken. Let's go ahead and get those repaired. Oh, no, they actually took one out. Okay, see? I told you guys this base does have weaknesses. Yeah, if you're not fast enough, they're going to take out one of those blade traps on you. And uh, it's not going to be nearly as effective. But this is still effective. As you can see, you can still hold your own back here uh, without that second blade trap, right? Just try not to hit those demo zombies. <laughs> oh, that was so close right in the chest. There you go. Holy crap, guys. Are we going to be able to keep all the zombies from exploding tonight and not hitting us? Oh, look at that. I love the effects on these new soldier zombies. They're pretty damn wild. Uh, now... I think a good way of not hitting the demo zombies in the chest maybe is to kind of aim downwards at the blocks. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to take a look out for, guys, is uh, the blocks themselves. If you get a second, go ahead and give those blocks a repair. Like, we, we, got, we got some reprieve here. Here we go. There you go. Those blocks are going to get damaged over time from the zombie spit. So you could also lose the bridge. And that would not be a good thing at all, guys. <laughs> Okay, so the wire is getting... Whoa! Damn, that was close. The wire is getting used up pretty quickly here. Um, let's go up top and check that. There we go. Okay, we just want to make sure that doesn't get damaged. Because that's what's stopping the, the zombies from really going through that one top block right here. That is also... Oh, no! Oh, no! This is going to hurt. Ooh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. That actually took out some of the zombies for us, too. <laughs> okay. Let's get some repair jobs in there. Uh, so, like I said, guys, make sure you have all the materials to repair stuff. Like, you want to repair electronics as well, too, right? Uh, so, keep your iron ingots on you. Keep all of that kind of stuff on you. Oh, and it doesn't look like they're actually going to go uh, for that other side where the, where the blade trap is. Looks like they're actually avoiding the blade trap itself. Oh. Nope, that was just a zombie that stumbled into it. <laughs> so it looks like they're completely avoiding that blade trap side. For the most part, that guy went up there. But it must be an easier path here because uh, that blade trap is not there. There we go. So we still got this together. We haven't exploded yet. We haven't died yet. There's two demo zombies right on top. Oh my god, guys. I can't wait to do this in base day one experimental series. 
Uh, it's gonna be pretty damn crazy, and I think a little more organic because my character be leveled up. We'll have um, different uh, abilities and whatnot. Damn, I'm so uh, guys, I'm sorry about the blade trap. The other nights I was able to keep both of those blade traps up, and uh, they really serve their purpose as well. There we go. So even if you see, you can do tricks too, right? Like if you see a demo zombie uh, coming up at you. Let a zombie go in front of him first, right? So that it's the demo zombie falling and the zombie in front that's holding him back. Whew. Okay. I don't know if I could talk through this whole thing, guys. I'm kind of sweating a bit. I don't want this base to fail, right? Like, it's a really good base, but it's definitely not, not fireproof 100%. Here we go. Oh, it takes a, it takes a lot of work from you, too. <laughs> Damn it. I hope I have enough ammo here for the Horde Knight. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do a block check here. Make sure my bridge is still good to go. Make sure this stuff is all up to par. Okay, we're good. See that one zombie's kind of in front, right? So he's holding them all back for me. And give me a second here uh, to get this done. Now I have multiple um, spots coming up here that if I do lose something, I can replace it. Okay, guys, we're holding it together. They're just doing their their like their rounds, right? Uh, now, when they do fall, I don't know about zombies this high level, but they do take just a wee bit of damage. Not a lot. It's about 13 blocks down to the bottom. I just heard an explosion. Ooh, I hope they don't got a pig, uh, a pit dug down there. That's why I recommend it. If you're if you're this late game stage and you got demo zombies and stuff coming at you guys, um, do go ahead and make like multiple. Uh, multiple blocks deep down there of steel because if you get a few demo zombies down there blowing a hole up in there the they will destroy it and these zombies won't be able to get back up to you and you'll just have a giant pit of zombies down below that'll make a giant hole for you but being that deep and this base isn't that tall it shouldn't actually collapse uh, unless like they just build an absolutely enormous pit beneath you that would have to be I think a very large pit because you have a um, a lot of bedrock holding you up. There we go. Okay. I think we got this under control, guys. Would be uh, a lot more kills here if we're able to keep that second blade trap up, but oh, that's unfortunate. And did you see that? The zombie, or uh, the, the spit, I do believe, hit the zombie in front of that cop, which is pretty damn awesome. There we go. Let's get our repairs in here. We're still looking good. We're holding up. If we lose our electrical wire or the electrical fence, it's not going to be good for us, guys. But we're surviving. Oh, my God. Whoa, his head got right in there. I did not want to play around with that. Holy crap, that's dangerous stuff right there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here we go. Like I said, just kind of hang back a little bit, guys. Uh, if they do go into that crouch motion too, they can hit you. Like we got the one up here. Uh, the other design I did in front, if you guys are wondering why they're not piling up so much, it, I went on an angle. There's ramp blocks in front that actually pushes them off um, being on top of each other. So they can't get on top of your build, thank god. Good way to stop them from doing that. Oh, oh no. Oh, I think that was a cop animation of an explosion. That pit down there has got to be in bad condition, I would think. Whew, here we go. So it is 1.15 in the morning here, guys, and we still have ourselves to get, oh, together. Ooh, sketchy. <laughs> I like how they stumble a little bit and just kind of fall off the edge. That's actually pretty damn awesome. I love that. Okay, here we go. And I th do believe zombies do damage each other when they're swinging. Um, and let's say change that. If that's not right, guys, let me know down in the comments below. And, uh, I guess I don't want to spread misinformation, right? Uh, but I do believe they're actually hurt each other while swinging. So when they're lined up like that, just like that, they're actually doing, uh, damage to each other here. So we can repair, we can grab something to eat here while these guys are kind of doing their own thing. Now, uh, on the base of, I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, you know, it's a complete cheese base. It's going against the game. The way I look at it, guys, they still can get to me, like, if you make some bad decisions. Like, we made one bad decision, our electrical defenses um, are no longer, 
So, <laughs> uh, the consequences of that is that I actually have to kill all these guys by hand now. Uh, the, the trap's not doing anymore. Oh, that one that, over there is actually broken. Let's redo that one. It's still doing a little bit of damage here every once in a while. Uh, now to get to the cheese part, guys. Uh, when I bought this game, and to this day, it says a... Um, it's a tower defense game, right? Like open world survivor survival tower defense. And this to me is exactly what tower defense is, right? Like you take the enemies coming at you, um, you make best use of how they're coming at you, and uh, you, uh, you, like, you get rid of them, right? Now, making yourself absolutely invincible, not a big fan of, not, not a big fan of that type of thing. Um, but like I said, it's an open world game. It's your choice. Play it the way you want to. Um, I think this is a very, very efficient way of taking care of the Horde Knight. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can still get to us, and there's holy crap moments, and uh, I still think it takes some skill. Definitely takes some skill to be able to uh, hold them off for the entire night here, especially at max level. And it's so hard to see how many there are right now, too, because the pit could be full of them. Like, they're all coming up and chasing them behind each other. I love it. Whew, there we go, getting them kills like crazy. This is awesome. There we go, another zombie down. Oh, press the wrong button. <laughs> that was supposed to be reload. There we go, this little lady actually, whoa, that's super close. Ah, nice, so demo zombies holds them up very close. So you can not hit that. Big bonus there, too. Oh, no. I hope our bridge is still okay, guys. That seems to be a lot of zombie spit going on. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. His back is so much easier to shoot than the front. I wonder if armor-piercing bullets would set off the button. If it went through the zombie and hit the button. Could that possibly be a thing? I don't know. Holy crap, that lady's head is stuck in the block right there, and now she's blocking my view. Whew. Jeez, just in the perma stun, these guys. Okay, so since there's been a lot of action on those, let's take a look at that. There we go, let's get it repaired. Sweet. Okay. Okay, there we go. We are good on repairs. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys again. So it sounds like the, the blade trap's back in action a little bit few zombies were hitting up on it but yeah guys like you can take this design uh you can make this multiple sided if you want to with multiple pits uh you could do like as i guess as long as you can reach the blade traps to repair them right uh you can do multiple sides you can have them drop further if you want to to see how far up they'll actually come back up to get to you because uh, I, I think there's a certain distance and they'll just kind of go more into a smash mode right oh no guys we are fully out of ammo here let's go ahead and grab some more of that holy crap we went through a lot <laughs> jeez good thing we're in creative mode here there we go what's up zombies but as you can tell from my health i've actually taken very very few hits and uh, it's very efficient on you know health kits and stuff for for the horde knight right there we go okay they keep just kind of bouncing around okay the there we go. Looks like they're actually kind of using that side a little more now. Maybe it depends on what direction they come from. Maybe if they're coming from that direction over there, uh, they'll hit that blade trap more. Maybe that's a thing. Because they will use the ladder. They will use the ramps. I, I can't really say uh, what makes them make that choice, right? Uh, that's a hard one. There we go. 3 o'clock in the morning. Almost got her down. So we didn't see any of these super new zombies, guys. Unfortunately, it uh, doesn't look like we, we got one. Um, but that's also a good thing, too, because then I, I didn't spoil it for me uh, or for anyone else, right? Because I actually have not seen the uh, the fire spitters yet at all. And uh, I would rather that be a little more organic. Yeah, we made it through the sword night, guys. We got this. No problem. There we go. Perfect. So the more zombies you have too, I think, with this design, kind of the better because then they uh, tend to use both sides at the same time and you're not getting all the damage just on one blade trap. I also noticed that on like, I tried it on time 64 on like on day 28 and it, it had no problem. 
this so this one was a little tougher there we go yeah they're actually using it on that side a little more now huh it's got to be the direction that they're coming in then that really affects uh their decisions or if that side's a little more clogged up maybe they'll go around to the other right could be several different things there we go <laughs> Almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I can't wait to see what that ball pit looks like down there. There is going to be so much loot. Like crazy amounts of loot down there. So our main defense stay, guys. Like our, our backup here, the uh, the wire. Uh, the wire is really not for damage. It's just for crowd control. Keeps them nice and frozen in front of you. Oh, it's great. Uh, now, it's only because of like the new style blocks. I, I think that this base is uh, truly possible, right? Because uh, I don't think these existed either. These uh, these middle blocks like this that sit right in the middle. I don't remember seeing those at all. Oh, we need to do ourselves a repair here. There we go. It's kind of hip firing, keeping these guys uh, under control. We just got eight more minutes, guys, and it's all, all over. And you'll actually get to see, unless these things are feral, they're going to be running. Uh, what happens when they walk? They literally just walk up this ladder, walk there, and fall in. It's, it's kind of funny. They don't really go too far. There we go, guys. Four o'clock a.m. We have made it here. Through a day 7,000 for night at max game stage. Pretty damn awesome. We just got to kill off the last pile of zombies that are with us here. We could have... There we go. So I wonder too, when the zombies fall like that, can they climb across them? I think they can. I think they can. Here we go. Yeah, there's this guy's running. Watch this lady here is walking. Yeah, see, she falls right through in her walking stance. Not this guy. That guy's quick, Johnny. This one's quick, too. Ah, all these guys are damn quick. Okay, let's kill the last few of these guys off here. There we go. We earned it. Smoke them all. There we go. Lady of the Night and uh, some sort of uh, radiated zombies left here. Oh, there's actually quite a few left over here. So we'll probably see a few broken blocks, too, guys, on the ramps. Uh, which is also a, another reason to make multiple ways up. I, I guess you could even add a ladder here and a ladder here too as extra ways, right? Okay, you know what? These guys are just being slow. Let's go out here and, um, and, and get them. There you go. You guys are hitting the poles because I'm floating around in the air. They're like, we don't know what to do, so destroy. You. And you, you know what? Screw this. Kill all. All of them done. There we go. Okay, so in our ball pit, ooh, that's actually rather disappointing. I thought we would have much, much more drops. I did the other nights. Maybe the uh, maybe the explosions did them in. <laughs> but Or they timed out. They probably actually timed out too, so that doesn't help. Okay, guys, well, there you go. So we're left with uh, still an intact horde base. We um, uh, unfortunately lost one of our main blade traps, but you guys can see how well a horde knight would go. If you're able to maintain those blade traps, you sit here and you just keep repairing them and it's almost like unstoppable. This on a normal horde, like or a low level horde, is so much more easier and you can just almost AFK. All you have to do is sit here and repair them. The zombies and stuff and the spit can't hit you. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, of course, you know what to do. And if you'd like to support me, you can either become a member or uh, check out my Etsy where I sell handmade wooden stuff uh, that I like to call merch. Have a good one, guys, and stay classy. Remember, back up them game saves.